Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It looks like AMC stock is ripping into the close here right now up about 23.5%. We're going to get into everything that is currently happening with AMC stock right here right now on the day. All the data you need to know all of that. But we're also going to talk about the economic data that comes out tomorrow and wait. Markets are actually closed tomorrow. So I really can't recall in recent memory a day where on a Friday you get very important economic data or really any day you have gotten important economic data where the markets have actually been closed. So we're going to talk about it. We're going to get into everything you guys need to know. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and source your comments, questions, or concerns down below in the comment section if you have not already. So first things first. AMC stock breaking above $5 per share, now sitting at $5, one cent per share, up 96 cents on the day, about 24%. We do still have some time left until the end of the day, so some of these numbers can move around, but I imagine we're going to hold pretty strong throughout the rest of the day. The markets have been pretty strong today as well, which is interesting because as of lately, when the markets have went down, AMC has outperformed when the markets have went up. AMC has underperformed. Now, this all comes because the judge has ruled there will be no reverse stock split. There will be no capital raise. There will be no settlement payout before at least April 27th, and the court can meet on these matters. Now, I think it's very well likely and very logical that this situation is not done coming April 27th. It's likely to last into June lie it's likely to last a while and that leads a lot of risk to the shorts that are short in amc and long and ape because their day like today i mean if you take a look at ape apes down 12 and a half percent so you're getting killed on those positions right here and right now and this is your large money your hedge funds your institutional investors the same people that cooked the vote are the same ones that are feeling the pain today. And given the cost of our rates and where those are at as well, geez, I would not want to be a part of that arbitrage trade on a day like today. You've almost completely made up all of the grounds uh, that we lost on um, March 14th, right? We opened and hit a high of $5.50 on March 14th. We closed at $4.64 on March 14th. So you're above that low that we've seen by quite a bit on March 14th. Not quite at the highs, but you are making your way to those levels. So things look pretty good right now. The volume is elevated as well, sitting at almost $81 million at the time of recording this video. So this is not a low volume rally. This is very much a mid volume kind of rally, not to the point of, you know, getting shorts to cover on their short positions, hundreds of millions of shares trading hands, but you are pretty decent. And, and that does go to show, you know, people are actively buying AMC. That's a fact. And I would think a lot of hedge funds are also trying to hedge out those positions as well now we'll come back to kind of this here in just a second the last thing that i want to talk about is the key technical levels on that upside 50 day moving average this purple line is going to be the next level of major resistance after that the 100 day moving average really you could call it about five dollars fifty cents per share is is going to be the main zone in which if you break above that things can get very squeezy very quick but you're going to have a lot of resistance around that level nonetheless. Now, AMC is at $5.02 per share, so you're getting up there. Now, on any downside move from here, $5 per share, you want to watch that as support. Under that, about $4.50, that's going to be key, and $4.75. All of those going to be key uh, support levels if you do take a turn to the downside. Now, let's talk about what happened in the markets today and what we can expect for tomorrow. And then we'll circle back to AMC and go over all of the data that you need and want to know. So for today, you had initial jobless claims 
I covered this in the last video, but we'll talk about it here again. Came in at 200,000. You were expect or came in at 228,000. You were expecting 200,000. So worse than expectations. But what have we what have we seen recently? The Jolt's job openings came in well below expectations. You were expecting 10.4 million. It came in at 9.93 million. Much worse than expectations. You also had the ADP employment report, which was about 45,000 jobs less than expectations. So pretty bad there. Now, you also had Fed Bullard that spoke today at 10 o'clock in the morning. And the main thing that sticks out to me there is he reiterated <coughs> higher for longer. And that's something the markets have started to try to do away with here. Because markets have been going higher recently since the start of 2023, based mainly on the fact that we're going to get Fed easing. We're going to get rate cuts by mid-year and then throughout the rest of the year until the end of the year. Well, as far as Fed Bullard, that's not going to happen. That's not something the markets should be actively pricing in. Now, for tomorrow, 8.30 in the morning. Keep in mind, markets will not be open. So coming Sunday night, 6 o'clock when futures open, that's when you're going to see the first initial reaction off of these numbers. And then on Monday, you're going to get the full reaction off of these numbers. The unemployment rate expected to hold steady at 3.6%. That was the same reading we got for February. Non-farm payrolls, February's numbers were 311,000 net job ads. You're expecting 239,000 net job ads for March. Now, you haven't seen the estimates come down at all recently, even though the other job metrics that we just talked about came in well worse than expectations. So the markets right now, they're looking at job numbers, not in the same way that we were looking at them in 2022. In 2022, if you've seen good jobs numbers, markets sold off. If you've seen bad jobs numbers, markets rallied. It's the opposite of that. There's a more normal correlation now where bad job numbers are bad for the markets. Good, not, good job numbers are going to be good for the markets. So if the unemployment rate goes higher and the non-farm payrolls go lower, maybe substantially lower from here. Maybe you come in at 150,000 job ads or 120,000 job ads. That's not going to be a positive thing at all. And it's going to set you up for a very big move. Now, it's interesting, though, because we are not trading tomorrow. And coming next week, CPI is going to be the biggest catalyst. That is going to be on Wednesday. So the worst case scenario here is to get a higher unemployment rate, lower non-farm payrolls, and a higher inflation report on Wednesday. That's going to be like a recipe for disaster in the stock market. Now, after that, it's all going to revolve around earnings. That's going to be the key thing is earnings, earnings, earnings. After all, you've had Meta, you've had NVIDIA, you've had Apple, Amazon, Google, Tesla, all of these companies up 25 to 125% in the last three months. That's got to be held up by some actual earnings numbers here. So you got a big potential to drop from here, or valuations could become a little bit more supported after this earnings season. Now, why is this important specifically when it comes to AMC? Well, the shorts in AMC that are a part of this arbitrage trade that have been short in AMC for a while, their collateral is those same stocks that I just mentioned. So if their collateral starts to get destroyed, well, that's not going to be a positive thing at all. That's going to lead to shorts covering on those short positions in a fairly aggressive manner now let's go ahead and take a look at amc's actual ortex data and really not too much has actually moved here today uh we'll take a look at it though nonetheless you're sitting at a 25.11 percent short interest of free float up 0.06 percent on the day 130 million shares currently sold short up about 82,000 shares here on the day cost of our average at about 900 percent cost of our max at 1050 percent and cost of our minimum at about eight percent interactive brokers has a cost of our rate of 322 percent with about zero shares currently available to be lent out i think the weirdest thing on the day so far is the option activity 
You've seen a lot of it on AMC. 204 orders, totaling $62.27 million. Positive order value of 0%. So you have not seen a single institutional option trade on AMC today that has been bullish. It's all been bearish. Considering the stock is up now 22.5%, that's weird to me. That makes me think hedge funds are just completely oblivious to everything going on with AMC and the actual risk that the courts are going to side in favor of AMC common stockholders, that this is not fair compensation, that this reverse split cannot go through in the way that they are proposing it. So a lot to think about here and a lot's going to be happening in the near term. This is your update, guys. As far as option activity for next week, you got 22 and a half thousand calls in the money, 58 thousand calls out of the money. 10,000 puts in the money and 79,000 puts out of the money. Guys, that is going to do it. Leave your comments, questions, or concerns down below in the comment section. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. And if you guys want to come trade with me live in real time as well, link down below in the description of this video. But nonetheless, you guys enjoy your extended weekends, and I will see you in the next one.